What's up guys, it's your girl Check here and I am back with another video. Today's video is actually going to be on this look that I am currently wearing right now. Inspired by this bandana. That's one of my closest bitches asked me to do. When you guys see this, I'm actually going to put this part in the beginning of the video so you guys know that when the video starts I look really pale and it clearly does not, did not turn out very pale at all. Like it looks my skin tone. This is with a different lighting that's obviously much better so if you want to see how I achieve this look just keep watching but I also want to mention that I want to try out a few new things here on my channel I'm just gonna start switching things up and see how that makes my channel grow a lot of videos that I have wanted to do for a really long time that I feel like I finally can do so this is a look I'm gonna be helping you guys achieve today so I know it looks a little crazy right now, but once it's done, you guys will see the bigger picture. So my brows are already done on the other side as well. So I'm just gonna be going in with my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And I'm just gonna be putting that right under my eyebrow instead of like, kind of like, all over the lid. And now right under that, just to maximize the color, I am going to go in with a lighter concealer, which is my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I've seen a lot of people doing this and it actually works. A little tip if you want to maximize the color of the eyeshadow that you're going to be laying down. Lighter concealers tend to help. Even white concealers. Once your makeup is done, it's going to be all covered up and you won't even know that that white was laid there. What's very important for me doing these looks though, especially when you're trying to get the most color out of your shadow, is definitely do not wait till your eyeshadow dries. I don't even know why people used to set their eyeshadow before or their base before because honestly that's not the move. But I'm just going to be going in with my Zulu palette by Juvia's Place and use the orange in there to pack onto the lid. That I'm going to go into my James Charles palette that I actually just got and it's been long overdue but I'm going to go into 518 from that palette which is just the orange up top over here right in the center to blend out the edges this palette is so big and I don't know how much I like that the packaging is like huge but the colors honey is every team you went all but anyway there's a lot of new stuff i want to try and a lot of different things i want to do with this channel i really do love doing makeup like i love this and this is totally what i'm for but you really have to like nourish your gift and like continue to practice even though it might not pay off right away there is really no competition with anybody else but yourself and you should really focus on that sometimes like focus on the fact that not everybody else is where you're at in your life and that's really okay like, give yourself the space to heal from traumatic experiences or anything you might be going through even if it's not traumatic but like eventually you're gonna get to where you need to be with the right amount of work and you just have to keep your eyes on the prize don't get discouraged because i know honey that should be dumb hard to not get in the slumps about a certain thing the universe be putting us through some weird shit but like what can we really do about that though I feel like a lot of the time society always puts pressure on people to be at a certain place in their life too, especially with social media nowadays. But you really have to remember that like what other people have, you don't know what they did to get there. And it may not be good or it really could just be sheer luck. Like a lot of people born into famous families that already have money and already have everything they need. Like, they don't really need to do much to get places compared to the rest of us out here. And you can't really be caught up on that stuff because that shit will really depress you and put you in a weird place mentally when you have to be working on what you gotta do to make your life better. But that's 
is just the easy part of the video here we're gonna get into a little bit of the more complicated stuff now I actually am going to start with my NYX professional makeup white liquid eyeliner to do my eyeliner just as I would do my eyeliner any other way like very simple stuff While I wait for my eyeliner to dry, I'm going to use the same eyeliner to start to just replicate the designs I've done on this eye. I'm not actually going to make these designs exactly how I did them on the other eye, just because I want them to be a little unique, like bandanas are. Like, they are patterned, but like, not all the same. I'm gonna head out. I'm just gonna go into my NYX retractable white eyeliner pencil and just tap the access onto the edges here. I'm going to go into the Juvia's Place, the Tribe palette, and I'm gonna just grab that really bright, like glitter orange in there. It's called Curla, right here at the bottom. And that's just gonna go in my inner corner. And now my lashes. But anyway, back to societal pressures and stuff. I definitely feel like society puts you in a place where you have to be at a certain place in your life, at a certain time in your life, but like, especially as women, I've always felt and believed that the place that you should be at in your life can only be determined by you. Think about it. From a really young age, you're conditioned and made, forced pretty much to believe certain things and think certain things and think a certain way. And you're limited in those boxes due to everybody around you pretty much frowning on you for not doing what what they think you should be doing at that time in your life. But honestly, ultimately, it's all up to you. Now just going into my MAC Studio Fix Fluid, I'm going to do my foundation really quick. But like, people are constantly comparing themselves to other people, and this is actually not something that I've really struggled with personally, but like, I know a lot of people who have, and um, it kind of falls into the realm of like what you are expected to do and what age you're expected to do it and how it should be done being determined by other people. And even if you personally don't believe those things, the people around you kind of make up a bit of who you are. And I don't know, that can tend to determine where you are in your life too. I hope this lighting is not making me look as pale as I look in this damn viewfinder right now. Just ignore the fact that I definitely just forgot to put primer on and that's so not like me, like what? I honestly just learned how to do these little curls with my edges and it's the best thing ever. It makes me feel like I can be so much more creative with that. These past like months or so have been probably the hardest for me just being away from home and certain things happening while I was away from home. Now going back into my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. That is also what I use to highlight my face. I love this concealer though. It is so creamy, creamy and just so like easy to move. It's just really sad to see how many people conform their life and live it in a way that makes them unhappy to satisfy other people definitely a gemini so that is not a thing for me i kind of do things and if it makes you happy that's great i really hope i'm not looking like this damn ghostly ghost that i look in, like in the fucking viewfinder right now i was using this foundation though 
in Paris. And I actually had to switch my foundation when I got to Paris because um, the one I was using was too dark. But now that I'm back in Florida, maybe my skin's like, honey, we need a change. I'm going to go into my Kat Von D Locket Powder Foundation. Go into my MAC Prep and Prime translucent powder. I actually have not seen this powder used very much and I don't know if it's just because it's old or what, like if it's like not the newest thing or whatever, but I actually really like this powder and it does not turn me into a ghostly ghost, but like with my foundation being a little bit different, maybe it will, I don't even know. Like, I feel like what a lot of makeup artists don't talk enough about is, this video is all over the place, but I just have a lot of things to talk about. I haven't been here for a minute. But like, I feel like what a lot of them don't talk about is that there's really no rules to makeup. Like, a powder foundation can be a bronzer for you. Like, it may not, like, if it works for you, then there's no rules. Who says that you need bronzer if this powdered foundation works just as well and does the same exact thing? that a bronzer is supposed to do. I was like first trying to learn about makeup. That's one thing that I really didn't understand, really didn't understand that there's really no rules. You can really do whatever you want as long as it works for you and it looks nice, then there's really no problem. Like if you do not want to use a bronzer, don't use a bronzer, use a powder foundation, use a concealer. But like, I don't feel like people discuss that enough and that's kind of why I'm going to stop talking about the products I'm using as much as I do. Maybe go into a little bit too much detail about everything I'm using and it makes videos really long and unnecessary. If you have something at home that works perfect for whatever I'm using, there is no reason that you would need to go out and spend your coin on something exactly the same as what I have. Like whether it's high end, low end, like if it works for you, then use it. I don't understand what people's like big deal is with using only high end foundations because I've never, or not even foundations, um, makeup, because I've never felt that way. Like if it looks good, that's the point. Now that that's done, I just kind of like to go under my powder um, foundation with more like clear, translucent powder or like I actually have another powder that I really like to use but the compact recently broke so I don't like opening it unless like I'm using it while I go out because it's literally my favorite thing ever so I need to get a new one before I start using that again. I feel like I still look a little pale. We're gonna have to figure that out. Eventually I might use one of my other lights just so you guys can see what it really looks like and not the washed out ghost of Chet. I'm feeling some blush today, so maybe we're gonna do a little bit of blush. My MAC Patrick Star blush and take me home. But now, going into my Fenty Beauty Hustle Baby highlighter. I've been so obsessed with highlighting my face with these smaller eyeshadow blending brushes. Oh, this is just everything. Like, watch how perfectly this shit comes on. Like, you get it in the exact places you need it. Like, I feel like with the bigger brushes or the fan brushes, it can just come out really large or like really just too much. But with these smaller brushes, you'll be really getting where you need the highlights, honey. Going back into the Zulu palette, I'm just going to put a little bit of that orange, same orange, only orange in that palette. Definitely tap off the axis, especially if you just finished your face like me. But I'm just gonna put a little bit under my waterline. I'm just going to use a little bit of the Fenty Beauty highlighter once again to highlight under my brows. But I'm just going to go into my Katy Perry by CoverGirl. I think this is 
Perry Panther black lipstick and I'm just gonna line my lips with that actually. Now with my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, I'm going to go into the color 28. Okay, this tube looks a lot more orange than it does on my actual lips. I'm gonna try something really quick. I'm actually going to t take some of that Juvia's Place for eyeshadow. Okay, just cause, I don't know, I'm not as happy with this lip as I wanted it to be. I'm actually going to try my UV Day Glow Aqua. I think this is like eyeliner or like, I really don't know what it's considered, but it can be used for multiple things. It glows in the dark, it's really cool. But like, you gotta use it while it's wet. So I'm just going to use my MAC Prep and Prime spray. And I'm just going to Put that in the center here. Oh yes, this is more like it. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the actual lighting. Twitter and Instagram all that will be in the description go we'll like it click the little bell button you know whatever just keep up with your girl and that's about it be safe guys thank you so much for watching and I will definitely see you guys in the next one